said, ICU nurses in Cumberland County have found a creative way to help several families that have lost loved ones to COVID. COVID has killed 42,000 Pennsylvanians. The goal of these nurses is to help those left behind hold on to the good memories. Jeremiah Marshall joins us now. Jeremiah. Yeah, Alicia Valerie, the initiative is called the Forever in Your Hearts initiative. Nurses we spoke to say since the pandemic began, they've seen so many deaths, leaving families with nothing. But now that can change. UPMC ICU nurse Megan Renato Lane says the COVID-19 virus has taken so many lives and she wanted to figure out a way not to only comfort patients, but also their families. I feel like you're doing something positive, even though it's still a tragedy, you know, because as nurses, we want to help and we want to heal and we want to make things better. But so often that's not the case. Homemade or donated items with the Forever in Our Hearts Blanket Initiative gives families the opportunity to take home a keepsake in honor of their loved one. For me, it's helped me in a way kind of cope with all the deaths that we have seen. And there's been a lot more that we have seen that, that we're normally used to. So it's kind of been almost healing for me. ICU nurses Casey and Sarah just started the program at the beginning of this month. They say already they have given away 10 blankets at their West Shore campus. This is just nurses that, you know, came up with this idea and wanted to um, give back to their patients and have something comforting and to make it not feel like a sterile environment that they're walking into to watch their loved one die. These nurses say families are extremely grateful for this special gift, all at no charge to them. And it's not just helping those families, but it also helps the caregivers too. You know, patients are everywhere and, you know, it doesn't stop people from dying. So as long as we can make them comfortable and like less sterile while they do it, then, you know, it, it helps us kind of cope with it as well. Because it's not just the family that are losing these patients, it's us too. 